Hello, and welcome to a special Monday edition of Midnight Launch News, done fast, because my wife says our podcasts are too long and too boring. I'm David. I'm Dan. <laughs> Today we're going to be covering Monster Hunter World, Fortnite, World of Warcraft Classic, Overwatch League, Go Dallas, Activision Blizzard making a ton of money, and is Google getting into the console business? But let's start first with my favorite game of the last two weeks, something that I've put at this point hundreds of hours into. All right, maybe 150. Monster Hunter World has sold 6 million copies. And Dan, you still haven't played it. What is wrong with you? Still haven't played it, uh, mostly because I'm not a Capcom fan, really, of any kind. Are you a fan of good video games? I feel like that's a somewhat fluid question. But... <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, it sold 6 million units. It makes it the fastest selling Capcom title of all time. This, of course, includes Resident Evil, Street Fighter, Devil May Cry. It is a bona fide success. We're going to see more and more of the hunting genre here stateside, and I could not be more excited. Yeah, pick it up on Xbox, then we're talking. Pick it up on PS4. Nope. I don't I yeah. don't have PSM. You know, I'm, I'm done talking about Monster Hunter World because it's just going to get me frustrated that you no. refuse to play amazing video games. Oh. Whatever, whatever. Fortnite, look at that. I was already transitioning. That doesn't count. The alarm does not count. I was already transitioning. Fortnite has announced that it is going to be releasing a 60 FPS mode for the Xbox One and the PlayStation Pro. Very exciting. 60 FPS in first-person shooters is always better than 30. Uh, well, I guess I can't argue with that. <laughs> nope, you can't. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's interesting. Um, have not played that one either. <laughs> it's like so... it, it, it's, it's like PUBG got thrown up on by a rainbow-colored unicorn. And then, you know, you sort of add in some Minecraft because you can, like, build ladders and you can build walls to protect yourselves. And, gotcha. uh, I, you know, I think it has as many people playing it right now as PUBG, um, at least on the Xbox. Like, it's, it's a and another huge game, game I haven't played either. Yeah, we're not really into the whole <laughs> Battle Royale genre. The movie was no. good, though. Battle Royale. I don't know if you've seen that. No. No. No, oh, that's all right. <laughs> Let's move you're picking, on. You're picking great topics for what, me here. <laughs> uh, I, you know what? I send you this stuff before the show starts. Whether or not you decide to look it up, that's completely up to you. <laughs> I I wash my hands of this. You hear that? That's me washing my hands. Uh, World of Warcraft Classic. Something that I'm excited about. Are you excited about? Uh I tried playing on not a classic server, but a Burning Crusade <gasps> server. You did something illegal. Did I? Oh, I don't know. Uh, this, I'm excited. I think this was this was way back before this whole stuff with that one particular server and Blizzard. Yeah, Nostromus or whatever. Like this, it was. this was probably yeah. Uh, this was probably like three or four years ago that I tried it. Right. Um. To be honest, like I was like, oh yeah, I want to go back to Burning Crusade. That for me was the pinnacle. It was the best. I really loved it then. I think it was more that it was just pretty much brand new to me. I was laid off from work at the time, so I was spending a lot of time playing it. Um, I went back and I started up a character and I went, oh, ho, 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 this is rough. It's rough. It's rough around <laughs> the, quality the edges. Of life changes that they've made are are pretty huge now i do believe they're going to pull a lot of those quality of life changes in right i i hope so i yeah. mean we don't really know um what we do know is that wow's 13th anniversary is well it actually just recently happened yep and um there was a blizzard a blizzard tweet uh from blizzard eu that you know posed the question where were you when you first started and it had a video 
showing the starting zones for all of the original races. And people were like, wow, this is really neat. This is what I remember. And some people, some very, very observant people on Reddit were like, well, that's that's not what I remember. That person isn't supposed to be there. And where that person starts isn't where you used to start. And those shadows that are in the video are from Wrath of the Lich King. So a lot of people are like, wow, we're not looking at just some old canned footage of, you know, classic World of Warcraft. Look, you talk so long. It's not my fault. <laughs> what, what we're looking at is the first footage we have ever seen of World of Warcraft classic. So I hate you so much right now. <laughs> Whatever, World of Warcraft Classic, <laughs> it's gonna be a thing. Just talk about your stupid Overwatch. Oh, Overwatch next? Okay. <laughs> so, uh, if you're a fan of Overwatch, oh, let me start the timer here, lest I be uh, called for not using it. Mm -hmm. uh, Overwatch League Stage 1 Finals occurred this past weekend. Uh, and I can say definitively that Dallas was nowhere close to being in it. Like, whatever no they'll, they'll sweep the next stage they could have they could have been farther away but they'll, they weren't in it <laughs> they'll sweep the next stage Bye. so i think the big news out of it was the fact that the london spitfire who ended up winning the stage one finals uh a played 14 games that day starting at i believe around 10 a.m pacific going through to around 10 11 uh p.m and they won the won the finals against New York Excelsior uh, in a reverse sweep. So a reverse sweep uh, in the finals, they play five maps. Uh, basically, New York took the first two maps, and London took the final three to win it. So pretty impressive. Uh, London, I blindly picked as my team uh, when they first put out all the different cities. And uh, yeah, feeling pretty good about my choice right now. Uh, definitely, definitely better than Dallas. Go Dallas. <laughs> that's all I have to say on this. I mean, that sponsorship of theirs is just doing wonders. I don't even know what you're talking about, but go <laughs> Dallas. That's all that matters. That's all I've got to say. Only well, team with a sponsorship. Hey, you know what? We're awesome. Okay. People want to give us money even when we lose. Exactly. That's that is Dallas <laughs> sweeping, you know, what themselves out of the competition like stage two. And <laughs> yeah, yeah, by the by, Overwatch is free this weekend. So yes. if you have not played it, it, play it, maybe maybe give it a shot, you know, see what everyone in the world is talking about. I hear it's a pretty good game. It I is. I don't know. It is Speaking planned. of Overwatch Go and London. Blizzard games and Activision, Blizzard made a ton of money last year uh, to the tune of $7.16 billion, of which $4 billion was from what they call in-game netbookings, which is basically just a fancy term for any sort of in-game purchases, DLC, or loot boxes four billion dollars that's a lot of money four. you know i'd be ha you know what i'm not greedy i'll take like half half a billion well you know maybe if you were mobile phone developer game app developer king software who they actually ended up purchasing you know i i think they make a game called like candy crush or something i something hear it's like pretty that. popular um their mobile division made up two million dollars alone just from dlc and i guess not really dlc because you don't really have dlc for candy crush but you've got the in-game purchases for extra yeah. lives or hints or you know whatever it may be i don't want to keep playing this level so give me extra right moves. <laughs> right give me extra moves or you know put some extra time on the clock uh so on and so forth um DLC is here to stay. Um, loot boxes are here to stay, seemingly no matter what any government entity thinks about them. 
um, especially considering the ESRB has basically washed their hands of it and said, you know what, no, we're not, we're not going to call loot boxes gambling. We're not going to do anything. If people want to implement them in their video games, they are more than happy to do so. Um, I mean, I think in very specific situations, loot boxes are fine. The way that Blizzard handles them in Overwatch, I think, is pretty much the best that you're ever going to see it. Yeah, um, I agree with you, that. You can get loot boxes just by grinding the game. There's no special things you have to do to them. Getting If you buy loot boxes, all you're doing is getting cosmetic right. stuff out of them. So you're not getting an inherent advantage. You could argue that maybe some skins make you blend in on maps better than others, but whatever. That's uh, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't see anybody making that particular argument, especially not no. on a game like Overwatch. It's basically people um, are like, uh, I don't want to keep paying money. To which my response is, then don't pay the money for them. Yeah, it's. This is the worst video ever. I hate your alarm so much. <laughs> I hate it so much. All right, let's let's move on because the alarm says it's time to. Uh, Google Yeti. Is Google getting into the console business? So this is something pretty big. Um, evidently, it's something they have been working on for the last two years. Um, maybe a little bit longer. And it's a combination of a streaming video game service, um, you know, sort of like uh, Sony's streaming video game service or OnLive um, or Gaikai. Of course, these are all businesses that have folded aside from Sony's. <laughs> and there's Making also a there's also a rumor that it's going to be paired with a piece of hardware. So basically like a streaming console and you know i think most people would hear this and they'd just be like uh i mean it makes sense but it doesn't make sense google's not really known for getting into the hardware business they're more on the software side of things but i mean you've got google chromecast devices um they are the pixel and the yeah the pixel you've got the laptop um the chromebook Yep. So, you know, they have a history of making hardware devices. And if any company has the technical know-how to get the streaming of video games right, let's be honest, it's probably Google. And, I mean, they wouldn't be the first ones. Microsoft wasn't in the hardware business until they were. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah, that's absolutely true. Um, you know, and to kind of build on that, so the project is being led by two Google hardware executives. All right. So there's probably going to be at least some sort of hardware that sort of mated with this online streaming service. And Google has hired Phil Harrison, who spent 15 years as an executive in Sony's PlayStation division and three years in Microsoft's Xbox division. And he is on this project. I mean, where there's smoke, there's fire. I don't think the question is if this is going to happen. I think the question is when is this going to happen? Yeah, and I mean, if they want to put out a console, cool. Let's see what it is. Um, I mean, I can't really say too much more. Yeah, I am. Um, I'm excited I about too what many it devices could do. to play on. <laughs> I, I'm excited to see it. Maybe if it does release, kind of shake up gaming a little bit. Because for the longest time, it's been you know Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo, and then of course over here on left field, you've got the people that play on the PC, and then you've got the people that play on their phones and stuff like that. Um, we haven't had a four-man race since Sega went under. I mean, that's yeah. that's basically been it. Um, so, you know what? We'll have to see what happens. I'm excited. The code name's a little bit weird. A Yeti, you know, something that doesn't exist, like that alarm, and I think it's on your <laughs> phone. So probably your phone if I ever make it up to Canada. But guys and gals, 
I think that's it for tonight. And that is a 15 minute video. Great success. Round of applause. Super success. Round of applause. Much success. Yeah. Yeah, the crowd goes wild. Guys, this has been a special Monday edition, short edition of Midnight Launch News. I am David. And I'm Dan. And we will talk to you maybe tomorrow.